What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today, what we're gonna try to do, I got the, if, if you remember last video when we put the Dixie horn on, uh, I was saying that I also ordered the Zero One decals for the door. And if you follow my Instagram, which, you know, buyer beware, when you go on there, it's a little different than what you see on here, but um, I did try it once. Okay, I tried it a couple of weeks ago and they wouldn't really stick, which, uh, some of you might be saying, well, of course, you know, bed liner, it's not going to stick because all the bumps and everything. But I did put these on like four years ago. And now this is a different kind of vinyl and I'll show you on the zero one decals what I mean. This kind of has a transparent background to it. The other ones do not. It's just the two different colors of vinyl. And it's also thicker than this. This is pretty thin. Um, but this truck had a ceramic coating on it. It was this stuff right here, this hydro, it's actually pronounced hydro silex, but I like to call it hydro silex. But anyway, I put this hydro silex stuff on here, all right? And as you can see, it uh, makes it pretty slippery, right? So I've been trying to get that stuff off of these doors. I tried to put them on with, this, with it on there a couple weeks ago. Didn't work, didn't even last a day. So I used a couple of things to try to get it off, okay? And I think I've got maybe, I don't know, most of it off by this point. I can feel a difference when I feel like back here it's still slippery. It's still kind of slippery up here, but it's definitely a little more grippy. So I think I need to try to get the rest of that all off. And the stuff that I used is back here. Might be over here. All right, so I had used this wax and grease, wax and oil remover from Chemical Guys. Didn't really do a whole lot, which that's not their fault. Obviously, it's not designed for taking off this coating. It's just a you know, wax and oil remover. And then I also used a whole freaking bottle. I used the whole bottle of this, all right? And I was doing like multiple coats, you know? So like, I didn't just put the whole bottle on and lather it up. Like I spent a long time going through the whole bottle, but whatever. <laughs> I did the same stuff with this. And this is by the same company. It's their surface prep spray. Um, it says you can use it to remove old coatings, um, used to remove recharge if necessary. Now the thing is, recharge is their normal ceramic coating. I used the marine version on this truck, so it's made for boats and stuff. So it uh, it helped, you know, it, it definitely got some off, but it didn't, I don't know, it's definitely still got some on there. So next thing we're gonna do is simple green. I'm gonna do simple green. Oh, I also used some Semsol, the Narosol can. That's for like, that's like a prep spray. And eh, didn't really do a whole lot. So anyway, I'm gonna use the simple green. We're gonna lather the shit out of it. Try to get as much off as we can. And then we're gonna try to put the decals on again. So we will see how it goes this time. If this does not work, I also bought a whole bunch of Plasti Dip. All right. And I'm gonna try it on one side. And if that side doesn't work, then we're gonna end up doing Plasti Dip instead and using the other side's uh, set of decals as a stencil. So I have a backup plan in case the uh, vinyl doesn't work. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I guess start going with that. So just real quick, I'm gonna do a demonstration, okay? So obviously the door, the middle part of the door right here has is what I've been trying to treat so I can put the decals on. The rest of it still has the same amount of coating as it did before. So anyway, see how it beads up, runs off, all right? And it's, see, all right, so see how we got like all those little beads on there? And then over here, we don't have quite as many. So that's a good sign. See, it's it's not, it's, there's a, it's a noticeable difference, okay? You got all those beads and there's less over here. And you can see there's a lot more right here. So you can tell it's definitely coming off. It's definitely not uh, to the point yet of being ready, I don't think. So definitely still has some of that coating on there, but we'll see if the simple green can uh, work its simple green magic on that. I feel like now you can see even a bigger difference. See what's kind of sh it's okay. Simple green, dude. Simple green. Look at that. Look at the difference. It's like sheeting off over here. Oh yeah. Simple green is the friggin' answer. Most definitely. I 
I might even do it again just to try to get as much off as I can. Yup, definitely. Definitely, look at that. I'm actually gonna wash it one more time with the Simple Green. Cause that did a way better job than like all of the other wax removers or anything like that. So I'm gonna do it again. And then, yeah, that's, that's freaking like night and day difference. So I was actually thinking recently that um, these coatings have been lasting, or this one, this last coating that I put on here uh, of the ceramics coating has been lasting a lot longer than it normally does. Um, and I was just thinking, you know, maybe it's because I've already got a solid foundation of the, of the, because um, I've done probably four ceramic coatings on this at, at, at four different times. Like I've done it quite a lot. So I was thinking like, hmm, this last one is, it's really, uh, it's really lasting a lot longer. And I'm thinking about it now. I haven't actually given this truck a, a proper wash with simple green because I used to do it all the time. I used to do it every time I washed it. I haven't done it. I haven't washed it with simple green in probably like a year. So maybe the key to getting this stuff off and also the key to keeping your bedline truck clean, obviously, because they're kind of a pain in the dick sometimes. Simple green, dude. Oh yeah, and I need to get new boots as well. Got a big old hole, man. I usually wait until they both have holes in them to replace them, so now it's now it's time. But yeah, this stuff looks like it's doing a real good job. And you can see in some you see the bubbles like popping and moving all around and everything. I think it's uh reacting with the I don't know, the other stuff I put on there maybe. Or I'm just I I I have no idea. <sighs> You know, with the uh, ceramic coatings and everything, how, every, how it, uh, you know, it beads up and everything, it takes a lot longer to dry. So, hopefully if we got all this off of here, it'll dry a little quicker. Oh yeah, just look at, look at the difference. You see that? Hundred percent night and day. All right, if you're trying to remove ceramic coating, get freaking simple green all-purpose cleaner that is that's 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 100 like completely different from what it looked like yesterday i really didn't even need any of those expensive freaking oil and wax remover or all that bullshit didn't even need it i mean i'm sure it helped a little bit maybe break down like the top layer of the coating but this stuff I don't know. Dude, I get excited about the little things, okay? <laughs> that's just that's just how I am. But this is I've been trying to get this off for a couple of weeks and you can you can see right here where I, where I haven't really been hitting it as hard with some of the other stuff. It is still beaten up, but it's okay cuz we don't we're not going to put a part of the decal isn't even going to go there anyway. But All right. I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to wait for it to dry and then we'll try to put the decals on it cuz I just want to make sure I get as much off as I can. So that's three coats of Simple Green, a shit ton of coats of oil and wax remover. <laughs> Finally, looks like the stuff's coming off. All right, so now I'm just trying to get them where I want them. That's not exactly, well, that's pretty close to center. I want to get them exactly center and then on the, uh, you know, the generally, the real generally, you know, from the TV show, whatever, these numbers were pretty far apart. Um, I think... Actually, when I put them on before, last week, I put them on like an inch or so apart with like an inch in the center, even a little bit less than that. And I think it actually looked better than how they had it, uh, you know, on the real one. So they're not going to be exactly the right spacing just because I think it looks better on, uh, I think it looks better how I, how I have it. Um, I'm going to move it back a little bit though. So a little bit too far forward. And then I'm going to take the heat gun and put it on and hopefully it freaking works. And you can see too. Well, you can't, you, know, you can't really see it because, but you can definitely feel the difference in texture up there versus down here now. It's a lot more grippy. It's a lot more slippery up there. So I think, I think this will work better, but we'll find out.
rooster fight over there. Um, <clears throat> so I can already tell a really big difference um, when it comes to with the ceramic, ceramic coating on and with not. It definitely, like it all came off in one piece. I tell you, I was fighting it before trying to get it to stick to the truck instead of the uh, the paper there. But this time, it took me about five minutes to get it all on there. And before, I... I don't know. I was having issues like these would just like pick up and I was ending up ripping it all down here. It went on like perfectly smooth. So you can tell it's definitely sticking a lot better. So now what I'm going to do is take the heat gun and my fingers and push it into all the little bumps and heat it up and get it to stick real good. And I also have... Uh, I don't know where exactly... Oh, right here. I'm going to take this pad as well while I'm heating it up. And this will give me a better, you know, so my hand, so my fingers don't get too hot and to push it into all the little bumps and everything. So we'll see how that goes. You have to be careful with vinyl as well. Because if you heat it up too much, that it shrinks. So you just want to hit it real quick, dab it in, hit it real quick, dab it in. You can already see the texture difference between here and here. So hopefully it stays like that and we can go all the way around and have no problems. So that is an absolute night and day difference in the texture and everything compared to the last time I did it. And you can't rush, rush perfection either. I think I just spent 20 or so minutes just doing this one with the heat gun. Not even include... I, this probably took me 25 minutes to put just this one on. But, um, yeah. So much better because before I would get this all stuck down and nice. By the time I got back around, this would all be unstuck again. So, <laughs> it's staying. It's definitely staying. I just hope that the, uh, hope the rest of them go that smoothly because I bet you those would last a real long time. Oh, you fucking snuck up on me. He will attack you if you're not paying attention to him. And he freaking just snuck up on me. All right. And you can't kick him either. Like, you can't kick him away. Yep, because see, I just barely motioned my foot at him. All right, I'm in a predicament. He's gonna freaking come back. I'm gonna have to. I don't want to have to kick you. Okay, stay away. All right, no, 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 no. Don't make me do it. Okay, I need a stick or something so I can. Ah, you freaking dickhead. I don't want to have to kick him. I'm gonna lure him over here. Well, this is unexpected, huh? You weren't expecting this, right? I don't want to kick, especially on camera. I don't want to kick him. You know, that's not a very good look, right? Quick side by side of heat gun versus no heat gun. That's why you gotta use a heat gun. See him? You see him? I'm walking away. Hey. I'm trying to make a video here. Dude, I'm trying to make a video here. Anyway. <laughs> so here's our final product, all right? This is obviously the side that I just showed you, um, and it looks like it's sticking pretty well. These have had time to cool since I just did the other side, so, and obviously I gotta put this back on here. Um, it's had time to cool, and it still looks like it's sticking in all the bumps here. I don't see any, I don't see any issues where we have any peeling yet, and by the way, it was, you know, last time I did this, it was already looking like shit by the time I'd finished the other side, this side was already coming off. But this looks, you know, I'm, t I'm just testing it, you know, like if I can push it down anymore and make any more bumps in it, which I can't. So, I think that these are actually gonna last for quite a while. I think they look pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So now I've got all that plasti dip. I got, I got like a, Couple, I think I got four cans of black and two cans of white Plasti Dip. So, don't exactly know what to do with those yet. But I'm not going to use those on this truck, I don't think. Maybe the bumper. But, eh. See, I don't want to delete all the chrome. You know, some people want me to just delete all the chrome, black all the chrome out, you know. I don't really want to do that. Because, I don't know, the General Lee had chrome on it. And, uh, might as well keep it. He's coming for me again. Um, hey. 
you sometimes you flap stuff at him. Oh no, he now he just he just wants to fight this thing. Yep, he's gonna fight this paper. Funk. <laughs> anyway, so if you sometimes if you like you know whack like a stick or something at him, he runs away because he doesn't know what it is. But here's the other side now, and of course you know we got dickhead right here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him, you know, because customers show up. You know, if he goes and attacks this freaking ranger over here, we're gonna have a problem. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about dude. Dude, come on, man. Come on. Hey, be a good chicken, like freaking cinnamon over there. The other rooster is nice. That one, sometimes he protects you too. He doesn't feel like protecting me right now. And obviously I can take the freaking chicken. I just don't want to hurt him. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to put my door panel back in. I think that it looks pretty freaking badass. If I do say so myself. I think the truck kind of needed... I think it kind of needed that. You know, it gives it... It gives it another little bit of accent. So, anyway. I'm going to go throw all the trash out and put him in the freaking pen so that he stops bothering me and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys for watching